guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, uh, doing another episode on the free tea. Uh, I, earlier this week, spent a little bit of time on my own, made a pattern, took way longer than it should have, but I'm happy with it. And we got, when Mike and I were up in Massachusetts, uh, one of the guys that we were picking at sold me a F1 steering box off of a, a truck that he street rotted, and he cut down the shaft on it, so he kept some of it but I got a great deal on it, and uh, it's perfect to make cow steering for this car. So instead of buying a $1,000 Schroeder steering box, we're gonna make factory Ford parts work, and it'll be awesome. So uh, we got the pattern here. This is gonna fit into some of the bracing that we made already, and I'm gonna let you do some cutting. And uh, hopefully I don't catch myself on fire. Yeah, the, the torch is fun. So, uh, yeah, we'll get that fit up and get it welded in and hopefully start mocking up some of the steering because it would be great to be able to actually steer this thing. So let's get started. So we got the, uh, the box, the plate in, and we started fitting up the box. And we noticed with the angle of the cowl with the plate in there, it kind of puts the steering box, kind of be driving out here over the door. So uh, we made up a little template here out of some uh, cardboard to uh, create like a spacer, essentially. The hard part is it tapers into the back to basically nothing. So we made this up. I got some quarter inch tray here. I'm going to zip it with the plasma. And then we're going to have to put some bends. Basically, it's going to fit in there kind of like this, it forms into a triangle. So we got to get the, uh, the torch out, heat up the plate up, bend it. So got some cutting and some torch work to do, and hopefully we'll be able to get this fitting in a little bit better.
I had to leave last week a little early to do some family stuff. Matt got this uh, tacked into place and bolted up, and it's starting to actually look like a steer box setup. It's going to be, it's kind of nice to sit here and make noises and actually be able to turn a wheel. Yeah, we we um, we had tacked in place. We got the angle right. I mean, that's th this is a long. We we're going to do the whole video of the process in one video. But we realize it's going to turn into like an hour long video because you don't realize uh, when people when you see this this type of project, you guys might not realize the amount of time and work that goes into doing something like this. And it might be a 45 minute video, but it took us like three days of work. So we're at a good stopping point here where you can. See where the you know see where the column's at. The wheel is kind of at a good position. We can adjust the, the how far back it is as far as your arm position, um, and uh, and everything's kind of coming out where it should be. So now we need to make adapters and, and to get the actual steering arm where we need it to be. So I got to do some work on the lathe in the middle to get it there. Uh, it's kind of a separate separate video. So this is a big big step. I mean, what two videos ago we were. On still, table. still on a frame table, so it's it's forward progress. It's just we're getting to this, the point where figuring out pedals and steering. There's a lot of trial and error and grind and fit, grind and fit, grind and fit till we get to where we like it. So it's just a process. Yeah. So that's pretty much all we have for this video. I appreciate you guys following along. Uh, as always, give it a share or and a like uh, if you like what you're watching. And uh, we do videos on Tuesdays on the free tea. Fridays on the Sweetheart Roaster, or we throw something in between uh, that we have for a future video. If you have something you guys would like to see, as far as we've heard mention of Toolbox Tour, uh, Tools Spotlight, or anything like that, you know, definitely drop us a comment. We might try and fit one of those in between some of these longer project videos to get you guys to see something that you want to see. Thanks, guys. See ya.